pro-mannequin organization. Right. And organization is not wrong, but most Americans will just say organ, organization. Organization. There you go. There you go. And deprived is okay, but one more time, deprived. Deprived. Perfect. Very good. Very good. So once again, uh, both of you guys, your pronunciation was very good, and even your flow was good. But did it feel like comedy? Yes or no? Did it feel like comedy? It isn't. No. <laughs> no, I agree. Um, it didn't feel like comedy. And... And that's why it's so difficult, uh, the intonation and everything. So I'll try and read it, and maybe I'll sound a little bit more comedic. Aren't mannequins kind of an insult to your imagination? You couldn't possibly visualize a sweater, so we'll show you on this life-size snotty puppet. I guess when they're finished with them, they become crash test dummies. That's the end of the line for a mannequin. Whatever happened to Bob? Have you seen that new Volvo commercial? He's got a bullseye right in his face. Mannequins are only used for car accidents and fashion. I guess these are the two situations that it's impossible for us to imagine ourselves, well-dressed or getting killed. I'm sure there is some pro-mannequin organization that doesn't even like you to use the term mannequin. Hey, they're not mannequins. They're the life deprived. Does Same. that sound different? Same. You did well, but Jerry was better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree, too. I, I'm not a comedian. <laughs> very good, very good. And I, I think I... Did I leave out that? I don't know. It, naturally, there should be a that there, but I don't think he used a that. Anyway, I have a question. Look at this sentence. Who is they? Who is them? And who is they? So who is they? Mannequin. No. No. Uh, persons, uh, people who use, who use, who are using uh, uh, the mannequins. Okay. So stores. Store, stores, uh, car, and test crashes. No, no, no. First of, all, no. first of all, just the stores, the fashion stores. Okay. Everybody, please mute your microphone. We've got some background noise. Thank you. Okay, so the first they was the fashion stores. Fashion stores. Who's them? Uh, them mannequins. Mannequins. Yes, this one is mannequins. Mannequins. And we have to think about the modeling mannequins. And who's they? Again, uh, they are mannequins. Mannequins. The same thing. That's right. The modeling mannequins. The modeling mannequins. That's right. So first, they're fashion store modeling mannequins, and then they become crash test dummies. Does that make sense? Yes, they are. Good. Good. They, they do. They, yes, it does. It does. They do, it does. That's right. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so, I don't know. When you watch Jerry do this stand-up performance, is it funny to you or is it not funny? Uh, it, it can be funny if uh, I can say only for myself. It can be funny if I understand more completely. But, right. Uh, so just listening, it's actually very oh. difficult. Yeah. 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 At when you read it, is it funny or do you still need an explanation? I, I, I would say 
uh, I understand that it could be funny, but um, when I read, when I was reading the uh, charm or magic uh, from uh, uh, which which came from Jerry uh, implementation of this passage, uh, completely loose. And uh, uh, despite uh, I understand the sense of this passage um, and understand humor, uh, it wasn't uh, so funny. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, and that makes total sense. Yeah, and this is. Go ahead. I think it depends of, uh, of the job because uh, uh, some time ago we downloaded some of the series in Seinfeld and uh, watched them. And, you know, some of his jokes were easy to understand and some of them not easy. So it depends on the jokes, I think. Well, what about this one, Irene? Did you think this was funny? Uh, this was funny, but that was... Difficult to understand for me. Okay. Pronunciation. Yeah, yeah, the pronun yeah, the pronunciation makes it tough too. Yeah. Um, so once again, stand-up comedy in America is really popular, but it's also really difficult. Um, so uh, in the future, I don't know if I'll use more of the opening stand-up routine from Seinfeld, but maybe I will, uh, but probably not the next time. Anyway, uh, good job, guys. It was very tough, and I just wanted to give you a taste. That was really good. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's go to the next scene here. And this scene, I want Irene to be Audrey and Andre to be Jerry. Go for it, guys. This is really good. Yeah, I fool. Oh, no. I think it's just enough. Oh, here we go. Apple pie. Best apple pie in the city. Mmm, delicious. I'm not waiting for you. Take some. No, thanks. You're not going to have any? No. Do you not like apple pie? No, it's not that. Well, at least test it. No. I didn't see. I see nothing. Shame. You Is will. No. You will. There's a pause. Oh. You, you won't you won't even test it? No. No. Come on, try it. A little test. Come on. Great job. Very good. Very good, you guys. Um I mean, me no. <laughs> that's okay. Uh try this one again, Irene. Mmm. There you go. That's the sound of something tasting good. So you don't get, you don't go, mmm. You go, mmm. Mm -hmm. One more time, the whole it's sentence. Mmm, that was really good. There you go. And Andre, say this word again. Fool. Oh, fool. <laughs> Not fool. <laughs> Not. Say say this a, sentence, Andre. A full fool. A full fool. Okay, wait a second. Say this sentence, Andre. A full fall fool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this word is foul. Yeah, foul. This is full. 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 Fool. Fool. Good. Fool. And this one is fool. 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 So, fool. a foul, full fool. A foul, full fool. Good. That was really good. Are you full? Are you full? Are you full? Are you full? That sounds better, but try and keep it lower. Full. Full. Hold on a second. I fall. That sounds good. Keep it one syllable. Full. Full. Say this. F. F. 
That sounds good. Put the L between the T. Are you full? Are you full? That was good. That was really good. And Irene, intonation. Oh, no, I've had just enough. Good. Emphasize the word just a little bit more. I've had just enough. I have just enough. Perfect. Perfect. Now you sound like Americans. <laughs> okay, let me go to the next scene. And here, Alex, please be Jerry. And Margarita, please be George. Um, Jin Hong, please be Elaine. Margarita, did you study this one or not? No, but... Then I'm going to change it. Jin Hong be George and Margarita be Elaine, okay? Okay. Okay. And Irene, you have to be Kramer. Okay. All right, let's go for it, guys. She will be so much expected. She see why? No, she wouldn't say anything. She just kept shaking her head like this. Perfect. Maybe she is a diabetic. No, she carries any any amount of donuts in her purse. Maybe you said something that offered her. The only thing I can think of, of is that I told her she should have those moving walkway towards the other city. Like at, at the airport? Yeah. That's a great idea. Tell me about it. We could be zipping all over the place. They could at least try. They never try anything. What's the harm? No harm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no reason for her to uh, not to say this pie. Who didn't say the pie? What is it? Dumbbell. Boy, I never brought up with anyone for not taking pie. I was broke up with someone for not offering me pie. Mm -hmm. He gonna be eating a hero, Jerry. He wouldn't offer me anything. It's a sickness. <laughs> well, I can't work anywhere now. I'm just going to be washing there. There were walkways. What are you doing? I got a part of the table. Boy, I, I never heard of uh, that happening to a woman. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> hey, Elaine, go like this. What? Why? Do this, do this, do this. Like, like this? Oh yeah, it's you! <laughs> What's me? There's the corner store downtown, they got a mannequin in there that looks exactly like Lane. Get down! <laughs> it's uncanny. It's like they chopped off your arms and legs, dipped you in the plastic, then screwed you all back together again, and stuck you on a pedestal. That is so how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It's, it's really quite exquisite. Kramer, what's the name of the store with the mannequin? Linnet. Oh, yeah. Can uh, I help you? Um, is it? I was looking to do without my shot on and one of my couch cushion didn't have any fabric on it. Wait a minute, Rini Tease. Don't don't they have some real cool shoes in there? Little box. I'm going down now. 
I'm going to go with you. I got to get a new suit. I got a second interview with the McKinsey, and I think I'm really close. They are all talking me out to lunch on Friday. Let's go. All right, all right. All right. I gonna need this. Very good. Great job. And uh, once again, I've got to go back to uh, especially Alexander and Irene. Um, the the acting was really good. Um, very very believable. Um, great job. Let me go to and of course Margarita and Jin Hong did a great job too. Uh, let me start with Jin Hong. Say the sentence again, please. Often they do. Start from the beginning. Maybe you said something that offended her. Okay, offended her. Offended her. There you go. Maybe you said something that offended her. Maybe you said something that offended her. Good, very good. And let me go to Alexander. Get that aw ah, walkways. Good. We should have those moving walkways all over the city. We should have those moving walkways all over the city. Sounds great. Intonation. Jin Hong. That's a good idea. No, it's not. It's a great idea. <laughs> not a good idea. It's a great idea. Why are you changing the words? Sorry. Okay. Let me go to Margarita. Um, intonation, this word gets emphasized. Can you read this sentence again, please? Um, I, once, I once broke up with someone for not offering me pie. Good. Let me try. I once broke up with someone for not offering me pie. I once broke up with someone for not offering me pie. There you go. Very good. Jin Hong, use gonna for this part. Gonna be wishing. I'm just gonna be wishing. I'm just gonna be wishing. There you go. I'm just gonna be wishing there were walkways. I'm just going to be wishing there were walkways. Very good. Great job. Very good. Thank you. Irene, try this again. I'm stuck you on a pedestal. On a pedestal. On a pedestal. Very good. And this is pronounced Rinitze. Rinitze. There you go. And I didn't hear your pronunciation. It's the sitch. It's the sitch. Perfect. And Jin Hong, Renitze. Renitze. There you go. And Jin Hong, I want you to say gonna with this one too. Try it again. I'm gonna go with you. Perfect. They're all taking me out to lunch on Friday. They're all taking me out to lunch Friday. On Friday. On Friday, sorry. That's okay. You keep changing the words. <laughs> sorry. And this one, uh, Irene, I want the ch. All right, you're going to need this? Okay. All right, you're going to need this? Perfect. Great job. Everybody did wonderful. Let me say hi to Andre Green. How are you doing, Andre? Hey, Shane. Hello, everybody. Sorry for being late. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Welcome. Questions about DDM91? Yes, I have a question, Shane. I have an answer, and, Andre. <laughs> good. And um, uh, is there any difference between uh, words clo close means shut and clothes means uh, garment? Ah, a piece of difference. Yes, pronunciation difference. Actually, we could say this. It doesn't really make much sense. 
But this is the verb. This is the uh, adverb, right? Okay. Now, this is a Z sound. It sounds like a Z. And this is an S sound, okay? Now, this is also a Z. So, that Z can actually cancel the TH, and we have close the closed door. Would you close the closed door? Uh-huh. And this one sounds different. It has the S. So, would you close the closed door, which is close to you? Can you try the sentence? Would you close the closed door, which is close to you? Perfect. Exactly. So, um, these two words, the verb close and the noun no. close, uh, mm -hmm. will sound the same. Okay. Okay? Yes, so, uh, vibration, right? Exactly. The Z, you get that vibration. So the perfect pronunciation, of course, would be clothes, clothes. But nobody really says it. Almost always we say clothes. So, wow, Shane, nice clothes. Yeah, lucky me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. More Thank questions. you. You guys are too nice. Has anyone ever had Entenmann's Donuts? No. 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 They're good. Uh, if, you, if you have a chance to go to America, go to a supermarket. You have to go to the supermarket to buy them if you like donuts. And I recommend buying Entenmann's Donuts. Um, has anyone ever broke up with someone for not tasting pie or for not offering pie? No. It's impossible? It's not impossible. It's very rude. Don't you think so? No, I, I think for, for I would say to, to, if you want to separate with someone, only uh, counts not offering one pie. It, 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 it's a baby behavior. But Jin Hong, if they can't offer you pie, they probably can't offer you other things too, like love, time, patience. Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, I don't know. When I was younger, uh, normally for the baby, we we play to, to like a family. So in that time, I think maybe um, I broke with someone not offering one pie or one smaller toy. But for adults, is is it really exist these things? Sure. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> well, Jin Hong, if you and I were on a date and you did not offer me a taste of your apple pie, I would break up. <laughs> it sounds like you you are talking about from uh, your experience. <laughs> no, not not yeah. yet. But maybe in the future, if somebody doesn't offer me pie, that's it. So now I know why apple pies are so important to Americans. <laughs> Especially in America, apple pie is important. That's right. That's right. So apple pie is a very American dessert. Uh, what about in your country? What's a very, uh, Margarita, what's a very Polish or Italian dessert? Oh, Italian would be gelato? Yeah, gelato. Yeah. So if your husband is eating gelato, does he offer you some? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, maybe I break with him. Oh, I don't know. 
Yeah. It's too hey, late. Hey, take a note. Hey. 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 Take a note. <laughs> <laughs> it's all recorded. <laughs> it's all rec That's right. We're recording this. Well, let me go to Andre Boyd. If you're, yes. what's a Russian dessert? A very popular dessert in Saint Petersburg. Besides vodka, I can uh, remember, uh, recall nothing. Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just uh, ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Okay, forget Andre. Alex, what's a traditional Russian dessert? I can't remember anything. Oh my God, Irene, you must know a traditional Russian dessert. You know, um, if you talk about apple pie. And... Oh, I can't hear you, Irene. Did you say apple pie? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody else, please mute your microphone. We've got background noise. It's very hard for me to hear. Um, if you can please mute your microphones, thank you. Uh, Irene, one more time. Uh, if we talk about apple pie, we have very popular homemade apple pie called chalotka. Chalotka. Yeah, you just uh, chop apples, make easy uh, dough. This make a dough, yeah. Remember, and you mix it and put into the oven. And it's tasty and easy made. Very good. It, it's delicious? Yeah, it's really delicious. So, and Irene, if your boyfriend was eating chaloka and he didn't offer you any, would you end the relationship? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, uh, when I was young and um, my husband and, and I went to the first uh, date, uh, he um, uh, ordered me a coffee and uh, I don't know how to say in English, but in Russian we say it strudel with apple. I don't okay. Know. Strudel, do you know what it is? No idea. Write it down. I'll look up a picture. Uh, I don't know. but it's. Um, with someone from Russia, help me how to say it in English, strudel. Strudel. Is it like strudel? Strudel, yes. Apples, like in German, they say strudel. Yeah, I think that's the same. So I was so shy that I refused to eat it. Oh, <laughs> and my. He, and he uh, reminded me about this for a long time after that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Something something like this? Yeah, exactly. Very good. Apple strudel. Ah, delicious stuff. But you wouldn't eat it because you were so shy. Yeah. <laughs> what about in Poland? What is a traditional dessert? Andre? Well, uh, I'm surprised because the name Charlotka is familiar to me because we call apple pie the same. So Charlotka is, uh, you know, it's also very traditional Polish cake. But any other uh, piece of cake also will do over a nice cup of coffee. And necessary, there must be some small talk. There you go. Some no. small talk. <laughs> But I'm not sure about this breaking up, uh, about, you know, not sharing your, your meal, your dessert. So I'm not sure about it. If we such easily transfer this kind of sharing with love, you know, <laughs> war and peace. <laughs> war and peace, that's right. Yes. Well, for me, it's war. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, what about but it would be it would be rude, Shane, if 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 somebody doesn't share, you know. That's right. It, it would, would be, be rude. rude. That's right. Jinong, mm -hmm. you know, what's a traditional Chinese dessert? Uh, sweet dumpling. Oh, sweet dumplings. Oh, so delicious. And if your Chinese boyfriend did not serve, did not share sweet dumplings with you, would you break up? 
But uh, you know, uh, in China, normally boy uh, they don't like uh, desserts. So only for girls, for ladies. So we never have the problem with Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sergey has, yeah. has sweet dumplings. <laughs> no, it's a difference. What are those, Sergey? I'm sorry, Andre, what are those? Uh, this is a marzipan, kind of marzipan. What? I got this. Uh, one second. I don't know how to pro write from. Pronounce it right. Uh, no, no, I, I think it's different. Nice. The Chinese dumpling, sweet dumpling, normally boiling in the water. Ah. Yeah. 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 Marzipan. Oh, so delicious. Oh, my God. Ooh. Uh, I think these must be it. Oh, these look ex like. Are they chocolate covered strawberries? No, no, it's uh, from uh, uh, one second. It's uh, uh, nuts, nuts. There is not, uh, there is nuts and something like that. How do you spell it? M A R. Marzipan. Marzipan. Z I P A N, right? Yes. I, I, one second. Mar. Mm. Oh, I think this must look, be. Look, look, look at the look at the chart. Yeah, yeah, my oh. spelling's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they are made from dough. They do have some made from dough. Oh, they look. Where did you get those? In a supermarket to, today. I just uh, uh, bought the, the, this uh, to for my wife because uh, sometimes he she. I like uh, try something new, and uh, she very uh, like to eat sweet, uh, different kind of sweet, sweet. See, see now, Andre is a very smart husband. He knows how to share the desserts. That's why there's love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, enough personal questions. Any other questions about DDM ninety one? Of course not. You guys are geniuses. Uh, I'll go to DDM92. And this was about the science facts. Uh, hopefully you guys thought they were interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and start with Alex, uh, the first paragraph. And then Andre Boyd. And then Andre Green. And... Irene, Jin Hong, Margarita, uh, Sergey, are, are you here or are you monitoring today? Sergey might be monitoring. Okay, uh, and then we'll come back to uh, Alex. So let's go back to the beginning. Uh, Alex, go ahead, please. And every, I'm sorry, everybody else, if you're not speaking again, I'm having sometimes a hard time hearing. Please mute your microphone if you can, if you're not speaking. Thank you. Random facts show you for many of life curiosities, but uh, did you know that cashews grow on apples? In this case, the apple is simply an accessory fruit to the, the cashew grow on apples. So how about the fact that mushrooms are more closely related to animals than plants. Most common ancestor between humans and mushrooms is more recent than that of mushrooms and plants. Excellent. Mr. Boyd. Okay. Trees, they actually grow out of the air, not the ground. Though they receive some minerals from the soil, the carbon dioxide from air goes into the tree and with the help of the sun removes the oxygen. This carbon is left with water and creates the substance of the tree. Great job. Yeah. And Andre Green. 
okay? And did you know that there is enough water in Lake Superior to cover all of North and South America with one foot of what water? Great job. Do the next one too, Andre. It's a short one. Go ahead. Okay. Or that there are more stars in the visible universe than all the grains of sand on, on all the beaches of Earth? The number of synapses in your brain's cerebral cortex alone, about 125 trillion, is the amount of stars that would fill uh, 1,500 Milky Way galaxies. Great job. Let me go to Irene. Irene, make sure your microphone's on. Sorry. Uh, but an atom is around 99.99% empty space, making everything in the universe mostly nothing, including your body, which, by the way, is constantly replacing itself. So much so that uh, so much so that every 10 years, you your entire body has replaced itself. Every atom in your body is different now, meaning you have no more in common with your previous self than any other human being that lived or will ever live. All the while there are more bacteria, all the while there are more bacterial cells in your body than actual somatic body cells. Excellent job. And Jin Hong. Jin Hong, Jin Hong I want you to do these two. Two, do both these. Okay. You have to average 3,200 to 3,500 weekends left in your lifetime. More importantly, you only have about 57 summers left. And did you know that while dragonflies have legs, they can't walk only land or that in a population of flogged fish, if the female dies or is removed the most dying dominant male will become a female. Very good. And Margarita, finish it out for us, please. The Tyrannosaurus, in terms of time, is closer to the, than to the Stegosaurus around the Earth. To the same token, Cleopatra lived closer to the first moon landing than to the construction of the pyramids. And the last and one. Just for fun, when I say it, you are now breaking manual. Great job. Everybody did a great job. Uh, the last two sections were the most difficult. Let me go back to the top here. Alexander, grow. Cashews grow on apples. Cashews grow on apples. Perfect. There you go. Make sure you ca you're careful with that R sound. The other one sounded really good. Um, Andre, TH. They, they, they. Read uh, the they actually grow, grow out the air. Out of the air. Out of the air. Uh, out, of, out of the air. They out actually the grow air. out of the air. Trees. They actually, they actually grow, out, grow, out, grow out of the air. Very good. This carbon is left with water. This carbon is left with water. To create the substance of the tree. To create the substance of the tree. Good. One more time. This carbon is, this carbon is left with water. No. Nope. To create the One more time. This carbon is left with water. This carbon is left with water to create the substance of the tree. Excellent job. Perfect. And Andre Green, your brain's cerebral yeah. cortex. Uh, could you repeat once, one more time? You bet. Your brain's cerebral cortex. Cerebral. Your brain's cerebral cortex. Very good. Now, this is another case where we have a Z sound and an S sound. So if we say it yeah. fast, we can combine. So your brain, cerebral cortex alone. Your brain, cerebral cortex alone. Very good. And be careful with the R. 
Cer cerebro. C cerebro. Perfect. Cerebro. Okay. Perfect job. Thank you. Irene, how do you read this number? I can hardly hear you. Say it again. Okay. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Is my audio okay? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to be right back. My, I'm losing audio, so I'm going to be right back, okay?